Oh, what's the word, bro? This true teller from We Are the True Tellers. How you doing, broski? Yeah, what's going on, man? It's your boy DMV Hudson News, aka that ex booger head, aka that that glizzy eating fat fuck, man. What's going on, man? What's going on with you, man? Man, I'm cooling, bro. You know, for the people who don't know exactly what area you're from, bro. I'm from Uptown, D.C., born and raised, man. Grew up right there on uh, 4th and L, man, Lee Joy Park, man. You know what I'm saying? Man. I grew up everywhere uptown, man. I show everybody in the DMV love, whether you're from D.C., Maryland, or Virginia, man. man. You know what I'm saying? But I'm... UPT all day. You want to know what's crazy? A lot of people talk about Chicago. I hear a lot of people talking about Atlanta, sometimes New York. But I also hear a lot of shit about that DMV area, bro. Yeah, man. It's crazy out here, man. It's a, it's a lot. It's a lot of shit going on out here, man. As far as, you know, the gentrification, getting people getting moved out of D.C., getting moved from D.C. to Merlin, and all type of crazy stuff, man. But, you know what I'm saying? You know, the music thing popping now. We got Q the Fool, Big Flock, who's locked up right now. You know what I'm saying? Right. You know, we got, you got, you know, we got a lot of upcoming, you know, rappers and stuff like that, man. So, you know, the scene just blowing up on another level and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Right. I've been noticing, bro, a lot of people been tagging me and shit, telling me about your channel that you got on YouTube, bro. It's a dope-ass channel. What made you get into that? Um, I actually holler at uh, Chicago World News, man, because, you know, I've been in the promotion game. I've been doing, like, events and stuff. You okay. Know, so DC, we got the, DC, we got the Google thing, so I used to do Google shows and promoting stuff. And um, after I stopped doing that, man, I stopped keeping, like, all these Zach TVs and all this shit the niggas doing out Chicago and stuff. And I was like, man, we need something for the DMV because, it, like, we need something for the whole DMV area because, you know what I'm saying? Because, like, we ain't got nothing. So I hollered at Chicago News. He gave me some advice. Right. And then I just started my page from there. One year, 4,000 4, subscribers. Uh. Uh, bro, you know, a lot of people don't understand the, the hard work you got to do to put into those type of blogs and those type of pages. Did that shit come easy, bro? Nah, that shit ain't come easy at all, though. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it came, it came with all grind. And, you know, you know, niggas out here in the DMV, niggas paranoid about anything. So, right. you know what I'm saying? It's kind of hard to get. It's not like Chicago. You can just pull up with an interview with niggas, you know what I'm saying, ready to do it and shit. Like, right. niggas be paranoid. They be thinking you're the police and shit. So, right. you know what I'm saying? Right. So, it's kind of, you know what I'm saying? It's hard, though. But everything is a grind, man. Everything I do, you know what I'm saying? I do something every day to just make my, make my brand just bigger every day, man. You right. know what I'm saying? You know what, though? Out here in Chicago, a lot of the bloggers, man, uh, we yeah we do get green light to post almost anything we want to post, but the shit can get dangerous. Have you ever been approached in the streets about anything you posted before? Man, niggas, um, I wouldn't say approached in the streets, but like niggas be trying to like inbox me, trying to try me, some mom drawing tips and all this type of wild ass shit, man. You hear me? But at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? I would never talk about a situation that can get somebody locked up or arrested or anything like that. But you just never say never. Somebody might try you and stuff like that. You know what right, I'm saying? Right. But you know, you know what I'm saying? But um, I mean, I just, you know, I just stay low key. Man. I just go to work and go home type of shit. You know what I'm saying? Right, bro. With this blog shit too, you know, um, with the music shit. Do you do, do do you find yourself do you find artists hitting you up trying to trying to you know um get you to do shit about them do stories about them and stuff like that is the blog game really real uh, is it really fake or something bro you say this blog game real is this shit real because I'm in the blog business too and I find myself every now and then you get rappers contacting you get mad about stories you do and asking you to do stories do you find it like that too. Um, nah, actually, I, most of the time, I do most of the research on myself. Like I said, man, you know, growing up in the DMV, everybody's so paranoid, you know what I'm saying? Because we come from the city of, I mean, we come from D.C., we come from the city of uh, Alpo. You know, Alpo, when he came down here and did, you know, did his little dirty thing down here on all folks and shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, D.C. area, man, the D.C. area really paranoid, so don't really be asking me to do reports on them and stuff like that. Right. What I do is, I, you know, I get some resources from people who know them and shit like that. Right. And um, then I do a story on them and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? Mm. But what I do sometimes when I go out, sometimes I go out, I do hood tours and interviews in the day of V2, so, you know what I'm saying, when I interact with these, you know what I'm saying, these artists, these upcoming artists and stuff like that, they'll basically break down a little bit about themselves, you know what I'm saying? Right, you know, uh, is it is, is the upcoming artists out there, is they unified, is it everybody working with each other, or is it every man for itself? Uh, right now it's every man for himself for the most part. All the, uh, the Maryland artists, you know 
artists, the PG County artists. I'm gonna keep it a hundred. We come from DC. The Maryland artists are working more better together than actually the DC artists. The DC artists are more divided, man. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like most rappers only really get on when they get this, like when they diss another hot rapper out here. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. There's a couple rappers that's on now that used to do that shit. You know what I'm saying? Not off no disrespect towards them, but it's facts. You know what I'm saying? So, mm -hmm. but it's getting better. But you know what I'm saying? Like DC, you know what I'm saying? DC guys like get a little bit more united and stuff like that. But as far as the Maryland artists, like the uh, outskirts of DC artists and PG County and stuff, yeah, them niggas working together and shit. Like, ain't, they ain't off no competition stuff. And now they killing it. You know, you got artists like Shabazz, Q the Fool, Big Fly, We Go Nasty. You know what I'm saying? They all right. working together type of shit. You know what I'm saying? All right. That was cool, bro. What, what about the record labels? What about the radio stations? Is they local artists friendly out there? Um, they starting, they starting to support them. It's growing a little bit. They starting to support them a little bit more. You know what I'm saying? Than they used to back in the days. You know what I'm saying? Like if you reckon that, if you know anything about the DMV or the DC area, you know, we was really good. We was really big on the go go type of thing. So you know what I'm saying? So being a rapper from DC or the DMV was whack at one point, but now it's you know it's switching around because it's switching around now because you know the go go the go go scene is like you know it's simmering down, it's dying a little bit. So yeah, so everybody you know, so the artists is the radio they just, they all support and you know right. they all support the artists now right that's great I know since you fucking with these artists and you be doing a lot of what's going on out there I know you kind of been enlightened a little bit to this music business for the fans that be watching this shit would you let them know is this a money based business or, or is this a talent based business <laughs> As far as like with rappers and artists who you be promoting and putting them and putting their stories out on the platform, from what you've seen so far, in order to get in this rap business, do you need a lot of talent or do you need a lot of money? I studied the music industry too, man. And for real, for real, I mean, it's a little bit of talent because of all the fact that people gotta support your music. So if they fuck with you, they fuck with you. You know what I'm saying? No matter how you really sound. If you got a big following, you gotta follow it. But I mean, order to invest into your craft, you need money. For mm -hmm. it, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. All these record labels that push people and stuff, they use it with money. Money is the big source of the record label in the music industry and so forth. So if you ain't got really no bread, you know what I'm saying? Even if you got a following and stuff like that, you ain't got the proper management and you ain't got the proper following, then you know what I'm saying? You ain't really gonna grow for real, for real. You know what I'm saying? Right. The dopest artists out here, but you know what I'm saying? Right. If if if, if you had like record label heads or some of the fans was watching this right now, what's who some of the artists we should be looking out for out there? Um, Alright, so the artists that you're looking for, man, uh, I would say, man, what a rapper, man, you know, he coming up, you know, so I fuck with Rico, uh, Nasty, Shelly the MC, even though she don't like my brand, um, whole time, Big Flock, he locked up, he doing three right now, okay. uh, but he gonna, he come out, he gonna, he gonna tear it down, you know, of course, everybody know Fat Troy, Shock, Lizzy, uh, mm -hmm. you know, you got Life Show, he coming out, uh, Southeast, you know what I'm saying, as far as Uptown artists, you got Lil Tay, CBE, uh, Uptown Tay, you got my man, Earl, um, uh, Euro. You got SMB from Lee Joy. Um, whole time, man. You got all the type of artists, man. Uh, PG Most Wanted, Will Chamber, all of them, Q Fool. Uh, I say we go nasty. I got so many, so many artists I can't even think of, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that's crazy. So, what's your ultimate goal with this, bro? What's the ultimate goal? You trying to get like maybe a cable station, maybe trying to get into the music business under the executive tie? No, I'm actually trying to get, I'm trying to basically be like the Zach TV or the DMV, basically, man. Right. I do this for the streets, you know what I'm saying? I do this for the hoods. Whether it was you from the city, you from the Maryland side, you from the VA side, you know what I'm saying? Right. I'm showing love to everybody in the DMV, you know what I'm saying? I don't have no bias against nobody, you know what I'm right. saying? I don't sleep on no man, right. you know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck where you from, you know what I'm saying? Right. I'm a straight 100% DC dude, you know what I'm saying? If somebody come to me, I tell them I'm from DC, I tell them what's up, but at the same time, you know what I'm saying? I show love to everybody, you hear me? Right. That's what's up, bro. I appreciate talking to you, bro. One of them artists is out there who who don't really know about this yet, and they want to get on this platform, bro, because I think this dope what you're doing. A lot of fans be telling me about it, bro. In case some Chicago artists, some New York artists, any kind of artists want to get on that platform, exactly how can they get on that? What's the name of the YouTube, your Instagram, your Twitter, anything you got? Man, you can talk about, man, you can hit me at DMV Hoods and News, man, that's two Z's, no S's, man, that's on my YouTube, that's on my Instagram, and that's my Twitter right there, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. all the time, and that's it right there, you know what, what about saying? Gmail, somebody want to see some videos? Oh, 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 somebody want to see some videos, man, 
y'all want to send me some videos, they can holler at me at DMV Hoods with a Z at gmail.com. Simple as that, you know what I'm saying? I'll uh, post this channel on the Twitter. I'll post that channel on the Twitter for the freebie. You know what I'm saying? I don't charge nothing for that, man. I don't charge right. nothing for because I don't really do this shit for money, for real, for real. Right. The only thing I charge for, I just got my camera. I just got my camera yesterday, whatever. So what I'm going to do is, what I'm going to do is, man, I'm going to be charging $50 for hood tours and interviews and shit right. like that, man. And you know what I'm saying? A little bit extra for a travel fee if I got to go way out, Virginia, right. far out, Maryland. You know what I'm saying? So, right. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to be charging 50 though, you know? I think that's dope. That's dope, bro. I co-sign that, man. I think you're next up in this shit, bro. You got to keep doing what you're doing, bro. You got an upcoming artist, bro. They need some advice from you, bro. Tell them what they got to do to get this music shit popping. Man, you gotta, man, you gotta get some investors, man. I'm like I told you, man. The only thing you need is the proper management and the money. That's all you need. You don't even need a record label no more. You need proper management and money. Once you get enough money, you know what I'm saying. Once you get a little enough money, whatever, whatever to add up together, whatever, man, just invest your money in the right places. You know what I'm saying? Mm. You know what I'm saying? And then you you gonna get on. You gonna get on and so forth. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Love, bro. I appreciate chopping it up with.